Once you're satisfied with the contrast, you can move to the next button, Saturation. Like the exposure control, you have a global slider for affecting the overall image saturation. Drag the slider all the way to the bottom and you'll remove all the color. Drag all the way to the top and the colors become cartoonishly vibrant. Press the delete key to reset the controls. Often what's required is a little saturation boost in the midtones and highlights. For example, the red in the rock and the blue in the lake is a bit dull and washed out. Drag the highlight slider upward until the value is roughly 50%. Doing this will bring back some of the color in the sky, the water, and some of the lighter red tones in the rock. Now drag the mid-tones saturation control to 25% to boost the saturation in those tonal regions. Finally, drag the shadow slider downward until the value is minus 10% to remove any excess color that might be affecting the shadows. Generally, you want to keep your shadows either neutral or as close to black as possible. To see a before and after, return to the inspector, then toggle the blue switch next to color. Wow, it's amazing what just a small amount of color correcting can do.